Mr. President, I got you an early Christmas gift, too. I just hope they're not too big on you. <laughs> On Monday's Late Night Shows, the host finally addressed former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn pleading guilty to lying to the FBI about being in contact with Russia. On CBS's The Late Show host Stephen Colbert said the holiday spirit has finally arrived. Well, it feels like Christmas is here courtesy of Robert Mueller coming down the White House chimney with a sack full of subpoenas, Colbert joked. Apart from pleading guilty, Flynn also agreed to cooperate with the special counsel's office. As Colbert put it, he's turning on his old friends. And, the host continued, It's like the old saying goes, snitches get significant time off their federal prison sentence. And if anyone is wondering who exactly Flynn decided to name in his plea deal... It's beginning to look a lot like Kushner. <laughs> Jared Kushner is believed to have ordered Flynn to contact Russia after the election. Said Colbert, oh, that three-star general must have been honored to get orders from a one-star son-in-law. Colbert also read President Donald Trump's recent tweet saying he fired Flynn for lying to the FBI and Vice President, a tweet that could prove an admission to obstruction of justice. After it was argued that Trump's lawyer John Dowd wrote the tweet, Colbert explained administration supporters are calling the defense sloppy and unfortunate words that Colbert joked are Eric and Don Jr.'s Secret Service codenames. Colbert also took a moment to celebrate the holiday collusion season with carolers singing Robert Mueller's 12 Days of Christmas. Bob Mueller gave to me a Michael Flynn guilty plea. Sounds like an instant holiday classic. On CBS's The Late Late Show, James Corden also took time to mock Dowd's defense of writing Trump's questionable tweet. Anytime I tweet something that you guys like, that was me. Anytime a tweet proves I'm guilty of a crime, that was Reggie, Corden joked to his show's band leader. Corden argued that a more believable lie would have been... Eric Trump got hold of his dad's iPads. We'd all believe that. When Trump tweeted in defense of Flynn that nothing happened to Hillary Clinton when she lied to the FBI, Corden was quick to retort... Nothing happened to her. She lost the presidential election to Donald Trump. <laughs> Over at NBC's Late Night with Seth Meyers, the host took a closer look at Flynn's guilty plea, mocking Trump's possible obstruction of justice. Man, he is so bad at this. He's like one of those burglars who leaves his driver's license behind. Except he tweets his driver's license. Meyers also addressed Dowd's defense. Because you basically admitted that your client committed a crime. That'd be like if Johnny Cochran got up and said, the glove does fit, my client's full of Meanwhile, on Comedy Central, The Daily Show host Trevor Noah was quick to question Flynn's admission that he lied after just four days on the job. Day four? That's so early. You don't even know where the good pooping bathroom is yet. Day four? Like Myers, Noah compared Cochran's glove defense during the O.J. Simpson trial to Dowd saying he had written Trump's tweet about firing Flynn. That's like if Johnny Cochran had tried the glove on himself and had been like, it fits perfectly because it's my murdering glove. Jimmy Fallon also poked fun at Mueller's investigation during NBC's The Tonight Show, addressing as Bruce Springsteen as he sang, Robert Mueller's coming to town. Well, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not lie to the FBI. To watch the full clips of the late night host taking on Michael Flynn's guilty plea, head to TATR.com and tell us which host take was your favorite in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez. This episode of The Hollywood Reporter News was brought to you by American Airlines, Hollywood's favorite airline.